Hi everyone, my name is Andy Johnson and I am here to go through a self-care flow, uh, yoga flow for you, specifically for our nurses and our healthcare workers. And this is just a small, small way that we can show our appreciation for everything that you have done for us and, and the lives that you live for the rest of us. So we're gonna begin by sitting uh, in easy seated pose. So easy seated pose is a kind of a crisscross applesauce position. If this is not comfortable for you, you can come and sit on your knees, you can sit on a chair, you can stretch your legs out if you've got some cranky knees. Just listen to what it is that you need for your body. So if you are sitting in our easy seated pose, the heels will be lined up with the center of the body and we open the knees up we let the hips start to open up and we're just going to find a few moments of stillness to breathe to just find some quiet among all the chaos this is your opportunity to create that little layer of peace of quiet of tranquility that belongs just to you so we'll lay the hands on the legs wherever you're sitting, palms up or palms down, whatever is comfortable for you. And then draw your elbows in towards your waist slightly just to help support the spine so that you can get a little bit taller and a little bit longer just to create some room for your breath. Let's close our eyes. And we let the eyes rest back in the head. So we try to kind of... Uh, soften that spot between the eyebrows, those little worry lines as we, as we become uh, stressed about stuff, uh, those worry lines tend to knit together. So allow that space just to soften. Press the tongue to the roof of your mouth and then remind your jaw to soften. We begin by inhaling through the nose. Take a big inhale as let the belly rise and then open mouth, exhale, just release. Just release it out. Release any heaviness that might be weighing on you this morning. Take a breath in. Give yourself another release. And then one more time, inhale through the nose. And we open mouth, exhale. Now, traditionally, we inhale and exhale through our nose in yoga. If you want to exhale through your mouth, you can. You're going to release heat. You can release stress. You can release anything that seems to be weighing on you. Um, but we're, I'm going to go ahead and cue inhaling and exhaling through the nose. This is going to keep the heat and the energy inside in order just to kind of move the body around from the inside out. So let's it, begin to inhale and exhale through the nose and we're going to take the hands together at the heart center for a prayer position. Our thumbs extend inwards to send just some self-care thoughts towards ourselves. It's very important for us to fill up our own bucket first, to nurture ourselves first. And then the fingertips reach outward so we can send some of that self-care, some of that nurturing, some of that awareness to those around you or those in your life. So we take a little bit from our bucket and we send it outwards to others. Now we'll begin our practice by setting an intention. So maybe it's the first word or first phrase that pops up into the mind. Or maybe it's what brought you to your mat space today. Whatever that word is, whatever that idea is, just become aware of it. Set it in your mind. And then press your right palm into the left and the left palm back into the right, sealing your intention for your practice. Let's take another big inhale. And exhale. Begin to flutter the eyelids open, and we'll take the hands, cap your knees with your palms. As you draw your elbows back toward your waist, inhale, open up the throat center. Give yourself a little upper back bend feeling. So this is our seated cow pose. As we exhale, tip onto the tailbone, back onto the sacrum. As you roll back, straighten out the arms, and I'm gonna turn sideways so you can see me. We roll back, 
Draw the chin to the chest and round out, stretching through the back side of the body for a, cat, for a seated cat stretch. Let's do that again. Inhale, open up for our seated cow. As we exhale, round it under for a cat stretch. Roll it out. Maybe drop the chin and rock, rock it side to side. Working out any tension, any tightness that you have in the neck and the shoulders and the upper back. And then when you're ready, let's go one more time. Inhale, cow pose. Exhale, cat stretch. And then we're going to inhale into a long, tall spine. So we get a little bit taller, a little bit longer. Let's reach the arms upwards, but keep the shoulder blades rolled down the back. The palms face each other. Enjoy an inhale here. As you exhale, place your left hand on your right knee and the right hand close to the body beside you. Push into the ground, push into the knee, give yourself a twist and start to wake up the muscles around the spine. If you want to add a little bit more stretch to the neck, you can take your chin over your right shoulder, but we want to be tall and long here. Let's come back to center on our next inhale. So inhale, reach those arms high, and then we'll exhale and we'll sweep to the opposite side. Right hand on left knee, left hand behind you. As you exhale, get tall and push into your twist. Good, let's flow that a few more times. On our inhale, we reach high. On the exhale, we twist toward the, towards the right and push. Inhale, reach high. Exhale, twist towards the left. One more time, each side. In breath, out breath towards the right. Inhales to center, and then one more to the left. Beautiful, breathe it out. That's it, let's come back to center. And then we place the palms behind us with the, hand, with the fingertips facing the hips. You can rock your hands or you can uh, dial your hands out slightly if you need to. We just don't want them to be completely backwards. That kind of does funky things to the shoulders once we get into our pose. We'll plant the feet flat to the floor with our knees bent. Take an inhale. As you exhale, push through the base of the index finger and thumb, push through the feet as you lift the hips up towards the ceiling. We open up the heart center. We open up those hips. Take an inhale, exhale, drop all the way back down. Let's do that a couple more times. We'll flow that. Inhale, as you exhale, push high. Take another inhale, exhale, drop down. One more time, take an inhale. Exhale, push high, open up that heart center, maybe draw the shoulder blades towards each other. Exhale, drop all the way down, beautiful. All right, let's come on to our hands and knees. And we'll position the hips above the knees. We tuck the feet behind us for a little bit of stability. If that's hard on your kneecaps, you can always untuck your feet, that's a great option. So from here, keeping the hips above the knees, begin to walk the hands forward until you can rest your forehead. You can either rest your forehead on a block or maybe all the way onto the mat. And then you can take your hands a little wider towards the outer edges of the mat just to create some space between the shoulder blades. This allows for the heart center to drop down between the shoulders and open up. We've got an upper body stretch. Maybe wiggle the hips around. Breath in, breath out. This is called puppy pose. We're about to go into downward facing dog. So if downward facing dog ends up being a little bit too intense for you, you always have the option for puppy pose. Puppy pose is a great way to practice that heart opening. Take another breath in. Take another breath out. When you're ready, walk the hands back slightly, untuck your feet and sit back on the heels. So we move into child's pose, rounding out that low back. You can take a couple of breaths here. When you're ready to move to downward facing dog, we glue the hands to the floor, move on to your knees. 
tuck the feet and pop the hips up into our first big downward dog of our practice. So coming from child's pose or even from plank is a great option. So when we're in, when we're in downward dog, we don't want to be, we don't want the hands to be too far apart or clo too close together from the feet. So let's inhale, lift your heels. Exhale, bend your left knee and sink into that right heel. Give, it, give that calf a nice stretch. Maybe wag your tail. If you choose to be in puppy pose, then maybe you're in puppy or maybe you're in all fours and you can just press back through your heel. Give that calf a stretch. Wag your tail around. Good. When you're ready, let's inhale, lift your heels. Exhale, bend the right knee, sink into that left heel, knowing that your option is to move all the way onto the right knee, pushing back. So we're just getting into the bottoms of the feet, the calves, maybe into the hamstrings and the hips. Breath in, breath out. Now let's flow those moves. Inhale, lift your heels. Exhale, bend your left knee, sink into the right. Inhale, lift your heels. Exhale, bend the right knee, sink into the left. Let's go one more time on each side. Use your breath to guide you. Inhale and exhale, sink. Lift up and exhale, sink. Lift it up. This time, exhale, send both heels towards the ground and wag your tail. It doesn't have to be to the ground, just in that general direction. Now look forward between your hands, bend your knees, take a couple of baby steps forward with your feet, and then eventually make your way, take your time, make your way all the way forward into a fold near the front of your mat. We'll heel toe the feet out about as wide as the mat. If you have a cranky low back, keep your feet or keep your hands on the ground or maybe a block or a stack of books or maybe somewhere along the legs. If your low back is feeling healthy today, then maybe grab onto opposite elbows and then everybody let your shoulders be heavy. Let your head be heavy. Maybe bending into one knee and then the other, letting the torso sway side to side. This is called ragdoll pose. We're just hanging, creating a little bit of uh, a little bit of length in the spine, through the neck. And then when you're ready, let's take the hands to the ground, heel toe your feet towards each other. So the feet are hip distance apart and we're stacking our joints. Take the hands to the tops of the feet, tuck the chin under and slowly roll up. One vertebrae at a time. Beautiful. We stand in mountain pose. Inhale, reach those arms high, draw the shoulder blades down the back, pulling the low belly in, lifting the pelvic floor for some extra core support. Let's enjoy another big inhale. Exhale, bend the elbows and cactus the arms, open that heart center. Try not to load in the low back, so keep the low back long. Let this be an upper back bend. On the inhale, reach those arms high. Take an exhale, float all the way down into a forward fold. Bend your knees until you can rest your hands on the floor. Walking the hands up the shins, lift your torso up for a flat back, drawing your shoulder blades towards each other. Find space in the low belly. On your exhale, let your head hang. On your next inhale, step the right foot back into a lunge. We want the left knee to be stacked over the ankle. So we want to be long enough so we're stacking our joints. We want to try to not let the knee be over the toes. So we step far back enough so we've got a long stance. And we're going to move all the way back onto that back knee. Take an inhale. Take an exhale. On your next inhale, let's lengthen out your front leg. So we're coming into kind of a half splits. Oh, that hamstring might be talking to you right now. Yes, take some time here. We're going to flow these moves in just a moment, but let's just warm those muscles up. Feel free to wiggle. Enjoy another inhale. 
Exhale, crawl forward into your lunge. Plant your hands. Inhale, step back into plank pose. So we're in our full plank pose. Lower all the way to the ground. Send your elbows back towards the wall behind you. Drop your heart, your chin, and your hips at the same time. Inhale, roll those shoulders back. You've got cobra pose. Open that heart center. You can start to experiment with a little bit of strength through the arms. On your next exhale, it's a big move. We lift the hips way up and back into downward facing dog. A lot of big movement there. All right, now take an inhale and an exhale. Breath in, bend your knees, look forward. Exhale, make your way to the top of your mat. Lift up halfway, so halfway up. Exhale, float all the way down into your fold. Now we're gonna stand up into a big stand, reaching those arms all the way out and up. We've got mountain pose. Exhale, cactus the arms here. Reach the arms high, and then forward fold. <sighs> Inhale, lift up halfway. So this kind of gives you that opportunity to adjust. Gives you that adjustment here. We've got a little core strengthening. And then exhale. This allows you to take that fold just a little bit deeper. On your next inhale, we step the left foot back into lunge. So switch legs. Right knee is stacked over the, over the knee, or right knee is stacked over the ankle. Drop onto that back knee. Give yourself some opening up through that left hip flexor. Wiggle it around. Breathe it in. Breathe it out. We're about to flow this. We're spending a little extra time in these moves right now so we can get ourselves familiar with them. And we're gonna move it around a little bit faster. Uh, we're gonna match, start to match it one breath per movement. On our next inhale, let's straighten out that front leg. Push the hands forwards as you draw, drag the heel back. We wanna be careful not to lock out through the knee. So keep a slight bend through that front knee. Lengthening out through that hip, through, through the hamstring. Breath in, breath out. This is my tight side. You've got a, you might have a, one, a side that's a little bit tighter than the other. So you might want to spend an extra breath or two in that side. Take another inhale. Exhale, crawl forward into your lunge. Plant your hands. Step back into plank pose. Take an inhale. Exhale, lower all the way down. You can always be on your knees when you're in plank. You're gonna lower all the way down to the ground. Inhale, open up into cobra pose. Untuck the toes, press the tops of the feet into the mat. On your next exhale, it's a big move. Either push up onto your knees or you can push up into plank pose all the way through to downward facing dog. All right, so we're gonna start to move one breath per movement. We're gonna start to get warm. We'll warm up from the inside out. Take a breath in, take a breath out. Inhale, as you exhale, send your feet forward to the front of your mat, hip distance apart. Inhale, lift up halfway, Float all the way down towards the earth. Now stand tall. Inhale, reach those arms high. Exhale, cactus the arms. Open the heart center. Reach high. Exhale, float all the way down to the earth. Lift up halfway. Here's your adjustment. Find space in that low belly. And then exhale, float all the way down. Inhaling, step your right foot back into a lunge. You can drop onto the knee if you want a little more intensity, then stay, stay, keep that knee lifted. On your exhale, move back into your hamstring stretch. So you can be on your back knee and move into that, uh, the half splits, or maybe the back knee is lifted for lo two long straight legs. Take an inhale, exhale, crawl forward. Inhale, move to plank pose. Exhale, lower all the way down to the ground. Open up, cobra pose. Exhale, lift those hips way up and back, keep it going. Inhale, bend the knees, look forward. 
Exhale, move your feet to your hands. Lift up halfway and then float all the way down. Now stand tall, in breath. Exhale, cactus the arms. Reach those arms high. Exhale, float all the way down into your big forward fold. Maybe you notice your forward fold is getting a little bit deeper. Lift up halfway. Exhale, float deeper. Inhale, left leg long, step back. You can either drop onto that back knee or keep it lifted. Inhaling, right leg long. Exhale, back into your lunge. Inhale, plank pose. Exhale, lower down. Inhaling, open that heart center. As we exhale, lift those hips up, downward facing dog. We're gonna go one more round and I'll give you some options. If you need to rest in child's pose at any point, you can, or you can up level and I'll give you some options for that. Take an inhale, look forward. You can walk like you have been, or you can hop or you can step. So if you wanna hop, then it's a big hop forward. There's your exhale. Inhale, lift up halfway. Float all the way down. Stand tall, push the feet down, grow upwards, maybe lifting the corners of your mouth. Exhale, cactus the arms. Reach the arms high as you inhale, and then float a little bit deeper into your fold. Lift up halfway. Exhale, float to the earth. Inhale, right leg back into lunge. Take an exhale here. I'm gonna add on, maybe inhale, reach those arms high. So you can lift that back knee off of the ground or you can stay on the earth. Opening up the front of the body, take another inhale. Exhale, hands back to the earth. Let's straighten out that front leg. Inhale, long. You can be on your back knee or stay long. Exhale, crawl forward to lunge. Inhaling back into your plank pose. Now, as you exhale, you can either move all the way to the ground like we have been or stop halfway. Give yourself a little dip. Now, inhale, maybe upward facing dog with your thighs off the ground. If that's a little bit too intense and that's not what you're looking for, then come back down into cobra pose and we'll all meet in downward facing dog. One more time through, inhale, bend your knees. Exhale, feet to hands, walk, hop, or step. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, float down. Now stand tall, in breath. Exhale, open the arms. Reach high. Exhale, float all the way down. Lift up halfway, float a little bit deeper. Inhale, step back with the left leg, you're back into lunge. Now you can drop onto that knee if you want to or lift high. On your next inhale, reach those arms high. We might be in a big high lunge, we might be on the ground. The arms are reaching high so we can open up the front of the body just a little bit more. Take another inhale, exhale, release your hands to the earth. Inhale, lengthen out that front leg, get long. Exhale, back into your lunge, hands at the earth. <laughs> inhale, back into plank pose. Exhale, either lower all the way or stop halfway. Open up into your back bend, maybe upward facing dog, maybe you're in your cobra pose. And we exhale into downward facing dog. Let's walk our feet about, about to the center of the mat. Walk the hands back to the feet, either roll up or stand up with a flat back. We're gonna reach those arms high. As you exhale, <laughs> clasp the hands behind the back. Inhaling, open that heart center for a chest expansion. 
Good, so we kind of got some heat going with our flow. We kind of got it moving around. I've got a little bit of, um, I can feel my heart rate up a little bit. So here's an option to kind of get that heart rate down, start to feel not so upside down. We're moving into this chest expansion and we want to try not to dump in the low back. So keep the tailbone dropped down so that the low back is long. As we draw our elbows towards each other or our shoulder blades towards each other, we're getting the back bend feeling in the upper back, not so much in the low back. So we've got some really strong integrity in the spine, in our stance and our posture. Good. Take another big inhale. As we exhale, bend the knees and flip the hands up and over the head, focusing on a little bit of shoulder rotation. Let the head hang. Let your belly rest on your thighs. So this doesn't have to be a huge fold. You can bend until you can rest just for that low back support. Take an inhale. As you exhale, release your hands to the ground. Keep your left hand in front of your left foot. Bend into your left knee and straighten out that right leg. Peel the right arm open so we get lots of length through the right side of the hip. Yeah, this might be a, might be a hurt so good pose. It's one of those groaners. Groan and breathe and do what you need to to make it feel good and benefit you, benefit your body, your mind. Beautiful. Take another big inhale. Let's move to the other side. Exhale, right hand back to the earth. We bend into the right knee, straighten out that left leg and peel the left arm open. If moving the left arm all the way up is a little too much, you can keep the left hand on the hip and just roll that shoulder blade back. Maybe shifting your weight into that left leg. Breath in, breath out. Inhale, reach that left arm high. Exhale, release your hands back to the earth. Now slowly either roll up or, or flat back all the way up to standing mountain pose. Release your hands to the ground. We're gonna learn one more flow just to kind of move around and get juicy through the hips. And we're going to make our way to the top of our mat. So let's go slow to start each side to begin with. And then we'll start to go one breath per movement. So uh, let's reach the arms high. Stand tall, mountain pose. As we exhale, we float down into a forward fold. So we know this. Inhale, lift up halfway. And then float a little bit more. Those hamstrings are getting a lot of attention today. Inhale into chair pose. So we sit the booty back. We sit the, the tailbone back, but reach the arms high. So this is a little bit of a strengthening pose. We're engaging through the belly. So draw the belly in, sit back as far as you're comfortable. If you start to sit so far back that your heart center or your chest rocks forward, lift your heart and lift out of that just slightly. Rock back towards your heels and reach those arms high. If you notice that your shoulders start to roll forward, then bend your elbows a little bit so that you can roll your shoulder blades down the back. We're looking for some back strength. Take an inhale and then fly the arms backwards, back behind you so you're engaging through the backs of your arms, the palms face down. On your next inhale, step your right foot back into a big lunge and sweep the arms up. So we step all the way back, the left knee is stacked over the ankle, the right leg steps back. Take another inhale. As you exhale, we open up into goddess pose. So the toes face out, the heels face in, the knees are nice and open, palms are open like we're holding, like we're holding the moon. Maybe wiggle side to side. On this round, if you want to stretch the shoulders in and over, kind of rock side to side, one shoulder in, looking past the other one, getting a little bit deeper through the, through the inner, inner thighs, that's great. We come back into our goddess pose. Now reach the right arm past that right thigh, extend through the left arm, get lots of length through the whole left side of the body. As we exhale, we cartwheel all the way around to the floor, back into lunge. 
On your inhale, we step the left leg back into a three-way downward dog. On the exhale, we press back through your heels to downward dog. Bend your knees, look towards the front of your mat. Exhale, walk your feet forward. You can walk, you can hop, you can step, whatever works there for you. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, float all the way down. Now sit the booty back, so tailbone down, inhale, chair pose, exhale, fly the arms back. I like to exhale there so, we can, so I can remind my low belly to draw in as I push my air out. Now we'll step back with the left leg and spend some time in our big lunge pose. So right knee is stacked over the ankle. We're pressing back through that back heel. The legs are hip distance apart, so rather than, than walking on a tightrope, imagine you're walking on train tracks. So they're hip distance apart, so that helps us with balance. Take an inhale here. As you exhale, open up into goddess pose, facing the left side of your mat, palms face out. If you wanna wiggle around, get juicy, Move deep, maybe you need to pull out of, that, out of that posture slightly, pressing through the pinky toe edge sides of the foot. Extend your left arm down past your left thigh, reach that right arm high, get lots of length through that right side body. Exhale, cartwheel all the way around to frame that front foot. Inhale, send the right leg high. We've got three, whoops, Three way downward dog. <laughs> Exhale, downward facing dog. You gotta watch out what you're kicking. <laughs> All right, let's flow that. Take an inhale, take an exhale. On your inhale, bend your knees, look forward. Exhale, walk your feet to your hands. Inhale, lift up halfway, float down. Inhale, chair pose. Get that heart center high, the booty low. Exhale, swing the hands back. Step back with your right leg. Inhale, right leg back, way back into lunge. Exhale, open up into your goddess pose. Now reach towards the back of your mat, reach high. Cartwheel all the way around into your lunge at the front of your mat. Inhale, watch what you're kicking. <laughs> Left leg way up and back. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, make your way to the top of your mat any way you want. Halfway lift, float all the way down. Sit back into chair pose. Sweet back. Left leg steps back into lunge, big lunge. Open up, goddess towards the left. Reach that right arm high and cartwheel all the way around into your lunge. Inhale, reach the left, right leg high, three-way dog. Exhale, press to the heels, downward dog. One more time each side. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, make your way to the top. Halfway up, bow to the earth all the way down. Sit low, arms reach high, maybe a little lower this time. Fly those arms back, lift up through the backs of the hands. Inhale, right leg steps back into lunge. Maybe you're a little lower in the lunge, maybe you add a back bend. Exhale, open up, goddess pose. Reach the left arm high towards the back of the mat and then cartwheel all the way around. <sighs> Inhale, the left leg high. Exhale, downward facing dog. One more time through, bend the knees, look forward. Exhale, make your way forward to the top of the mat. Halfway lift, bow maybe a little bit deeper. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, fly the arms back. Inhale, the left leg steps back. This is our last time through, get low. Exhale, open up, goddess. Reach towards the back of the mat, reach high. Keep that heart center open. Cartwheel all the way around. 
Last three-way downward dog, lift that leg high. Exhale, downward facing dog. Make your feet forward to about half of the mat. Walk your hands back to your feet. Either roll up or flat back all the way up to mountain pose. Let's take our hands to our heart to above our head and then drop them down to our heart center. So here we're gonna move into a balance pose. And this is, gosh, this is just such, so much uh, practice for life in general. I think we're all kind of in the, at, the, at a position where we, we have a lot to balance. We've got family, we've got friends, we've got work, we've got play. We wanna really balance it out. So this is sort of our practicing for balance. And I'm gonna tell you that um, one of the most important things we can do physically with our balance is lift the pelvic floor, pulling the low belly space inwards. This is gonna help with those wiggles and those wobbles, and it's gonna help start to strengthen the little bitty muscles. So we're gonna move into, um, into a tree pose, and I'll give you some options once we're there in that pose on what you might wanna do with that pose. So I'll kind of uh, uh, shift myself off to the side so you can see all the aspects of the pose in case you're watching. We'll shift the weight into the left leg, pop the right knee up, and then turn the knee out at the hip. You can start with your hands at your hips for a little bit more stability to begin with. Take the sole of the foot to the ankle. So this is sort of our, our, um, our first kickstand option. So both feet are touching the ground. This gives you that opportunity to practice your balance. If you wanna to try to move up a little bit further, then take the sole of the foot to the inside of the calf. If you want a little bit more, if you want a little more intensity, maybe move the foot all the way to the inside of the thigh. We always bypass the knee. We wanna be either below or above the knee, so we're not pressing on a joint and then press the foot to the inside of the leg. So we'll find a focal point somewhere out in front of us that will help us with that balance. And we come back to our posture, especially if you're wiggling around and not being able to, um, to stay up. So lift that pelvic floor, pull the low belly space in. Maybe lift the torso out of, of the pelvis so we're not just kind of sitting into it. Yeah, we wanna get nice and high and tall. Hands can stay at your hips, maybe hands at your heart center. If your wrists are talking to you, we, we did a few planks and downward dogs. If you're not used to that, maybe pressing through the backs of the hands, give yourself a little wrist stretch. If you want a little bit more intensity, then maybe take the arms up, reach the branches of your tree upwards. If you want a little bit more intensity and you want to add some neck stretching, then wrap your right arm underneath your left for eagle arms. So the right four fingers rest on your left palm. If that's a little bit too much for you with the arms, you can always take your left hand with your thumb up and cross it over towards your right shoulder. That's going to give you that nice shoulder stretch as well. So notice I've given you lots of options. You can kind of combine those options in any way that you would like. Take some breaths in, so don't forget to breathe. Breathing is our, the most important, the only thing that is required in yoga is breathing. That's easy. Good, let's release the arms. We'll draw the right knee back to center and release it back to the ground. Shake it out. Let's try the other side. Shift onto the right leg. We pop the left knee, turn out at the hip, take the sole of the foot to the ankle. So you could be here with both feet on the ground and then add any of those options with the shoulders. You can practice it in so many different combinations. That's one of the great things about yoga. All right. So if you want more intensity, let's talk about the legs. Take the sole of the foot, maybe to the calf, maybe to the inner thigh. Your option, we've got lots of those combinations we can play with. Maybe the hands are on the hips. Maybe the hands are at the heart center. If you loved that wrist stretch, that's always an option as well.
If you want to add your shoulders, perch your eagle in your tree, so this is called eagle arms, the left arm wraps underneath your right. The left four fingers are on your right palm. Drawing your shoulder blades down your back, create a little bit more stretching experience through the shoulders. If that wrap is a little challenging, you can always take your right arm across with your thumb up, across to your left shoulder. Good. Embrace those wiggles, embrace the wobbles, embrace the little movements. Those are your muscles working. That's good stuff right there. Lifting the pelvic floor, drawing the navel in. That's your core helping to stabilize this pose. Maybe those arms reach up to your tree. You've got lots of those options, lots of things to practice. When you're ready, let's bring that left knee back to center and release it to the ground and give yourself a shake. So make your way when you're ready to the top of your mat. Inhale, reach those arms nice and high. Exhale, give yourself a big forward fold, let your head hang. If this feels really good for you, you're welcome to stay here in a forward fold. Maybe you wanna come back to your uh, ragdoll pose with your feet wide. You can hang on to that. If you love downward dog and you're ready to go to downward dog, you can move to downward dog when you're ready. If you really want one more of those, uh, that floor vinyasa, or that floor flow, you can inhale to plank. Exhale, either lower all the way to the ground or stop halfway. Inhale, lift up into upward dog or maybe your cobra pose. Exhale, make your way to downward dog. If child's pose this whole time has been calling your name, then make your way to child's pose. So take a few breaths, decide out of all of those that I've just offered you, decide if any of those speak to you and spend a few, spend a little bit of time in those. Spend, you, spend some time into what it is that you, that you want. Maybe not that you need, Let's go for the want on this one. So maybe you want a little bit of strength at this point. You can continue that. Maybe you want to release and to relax and just get into that child's pose where you can let go. Breath in, breath out. When you're ready, slide the hands under the shoulders. We're gonna make your way wherever you are, we're gonna make your way onto your back on your mat. So we'll lie all the way down onto the earth. We'll plant the feet to the ground, rest the hands at the earth and we'll lift up into a bridge pose. As you exhale, push the hips high, opening that heart center. The chin is resting towards the chest the gaze is either upwards or maybe send your gaze towards your heart center. Fill your heart center with that love that you know you have, that compassion that you so willingly give to others. Fill yourself up with that love and compassion. Breath in. On your next exhale, release all the way to the ground. Give yourself a hug. Bring your knees into your chest. Hug it in. Maybe lift your head, neck, and shoulders. Maybe rock side to side. Give yourself a hug for making it to class, for turning class on, finding space maybe in your home or at work or maybe just in any kind of space that you've been able to find. So you found the space for your yoga mat. You found the time to give to yourself. So give yourself a hug for for giving yourself this time and this space. Good. We'll take the feet to the take the knees up over the over the hips. We'll take the the, the arms out either to a T or maybe a cactus and then let the knees float off the right edge of the mat. Stack your hips, stack your knees, stack your ankles into a big twist. If you want a little bit more intensity through the neck, then send your chin towards your the towards your left shoulder 
Allow yourself to surrender into this shape. Take a breath in. Take a breath out. On your inhale, draw your, draw your gaze back to center. As you exhale, engage your abdominal muscles. Bring the knees back up. As you exhale, send the knees towards the, off the left edge of the mat. We stack the hips. We stack the knees and the ankles. If you need to shift the hips around towards the center of the mat in order to get big into that twist, that's fine. Just know that any adjustments that seem right usually are right. Take a breath in. Take a breath out. When you're ready, let's bring the knees back up to center. And then we send the legs forward, reach the arms up overhead into a full body stretch. <sighs> so if you have a cranky low back, if your back tends to talk to you a lot, then plant your feet flat on the ground for our very, very last pose. We're gonna plant the feet flat, walk the feet about as wide as the mat, and tent your knees against each other. This gives your, gives your low back the opportunity to really release and get really long in our final Shavasana. If your low back is feeling okay today, then feel free to stretch your legs out long, let your feet fall open. Wherever you are, release onto your mat. Let's take both of our hands together and we'll take them and just hover them over our third eye center. This is our center of higher knowledge, of higher awareness, just awareness of the space that we take up, awareness of what's going on around us. Let's take an inhale together with an open mouth release. Let's place the hands together at our heart center. This is our center of love and compassion and forgiveness. We'll take an en a big inhale together with an open mouth exhale. And then we take our hands together at our belly space. This is sort of our, this is our space where uh, we take care of self. So this is our uh, self-awareness. This is um, our center that's responsible for our basic needs. It's just sort of that, um, what we need, not necessarily what everybody needs around us. So this is, this is a pretty important space. Let's take an inhale here together with an open mouth release. Releasing our hands by our sides, palms up, open for receiving, and then slide the hands away from the hips a little bit just to open up the armpit space and let the shoulders truly relax. Closing the eyes, let your eyes melt back into your brain. Allow yourself to sink into your mat. Invite your mat to rise up from beneath you to support your being. Letting go of your breath, letting go of any ten intentions, grocery lists, to-do lists. Just letting go of that just for those next few moments. We give ourselves the gift of stillness. So at this time in our video, if you feel like you need more time for stillness, which I invite you, please take as much time as you need to. Pause the video here, and then you can just pick up the rest when you're ready. At this moment, we're gonna start to move our body, maybe wiggle the toes and wiggle the fingers. 
Start to lengthen, deepen the breaths inwards and lengthen the breaths outwards. When you're ready for bigger movements, reach the arms up overhead for one last full body stretch. Maybe adding a yawn, maybe start with a fake yawn and see what happens. Because a lot of times it just turns into a real yawn. Placing the left hand on your navel, draw your knees up. Slowly find your way onto your right side on your mat. Rest here for a moment with your eyes closed your head heavy. Then remind yourself of that intention that you set at the beginning of practice, that word, that phrase that you set for yourself. Or maybe you didn't set one, maybe you weren't sure and you let one sort of manifest itself during your practice. Come back to that intention. We're going to take that intention and let it guide us into the rest of our day. Pressing your hands into the earth slowly with as little effort as needed, bring yourself back to your starting seated posture. We'll rest our hands on our legs. Take an inhale together with one big release. <sighs> Placing the hands together at the heart center. Let's turn the corners of our mouths up just slightly. Sending the thumbs inward as we send gratitude and goodwill towards ourselves, filling up our buckets. Then we send our fingertips outwards. We send a little bit of that gratitude and goodwill towards those around us. I honor the place in you in which the entire universe dwells. When you are in that place in you and I am in that place in me, we are one. Namaste. Thank you all for sharing your practice with me today. I appreciate you being here with me. Uh, this is just a very small offering of, of my gratitude that I can give to you. Um, just, just from, I think, probably everybody that I can think of. Uh, as nurses, as healthcare workers, we, we probably undervalue you greatly. You are loved and you are greatly, greatly appreciated. Thank you so much. Mwah.